Hey everybody, I'm the man behind Symphonica Preservation, though you might also know me by my other username, Commander Wolf. Um, so, what this video is, if you read the title, um, no, it is not a joke. You can, at least in theory, as far as I'm aware, this should give you the ability to play Symphonica. Yeah, so, I'm going to kind of go through the steps of what you apparently will need to do, because I, since I own Symphonica and don't have any extra devices, I can't exactly test this. But, um, but apparently this should be a way that you can actually get the game and play it yourself. So there will be a link to a mega upload, which will have these two files. One of them is Symphonica. These are both the latest version of Symphonica, obviously. Um, and then what this will be is, like, is the .ipa file and a .zip file. The .zip file is just basically this reconverted. And I did that because I wanted to try and see if I can find a way to convert the file to be compatible with 64-bit uh, devices, or in other words, iOS 11 and up. But uh, one, not only could I not find anything, but apparently, at least as far as I'm aware, it's impossible because the only way to really do that is if you have the source file, which is something that only the developers have. So as far as I'm aware, there is, n like, I mean, I'm including it just in case if you want to try or if you do have, in fact, the know-how to do it give it a shot, but as far as I'm aware, you cannot actually do anything to make this game compatible with any newer devices. So basically, after downloading this file, what you'll have to do is you'll have to get a iOS device that has 32-bit processing, and which means it can run iOS's 5 through uh, 10, because those are the iOS's that this game is compatible with. Now you might be asking, which devices are compatible with that? Well, it is these ones right here. All of these. All of these ones are games that are, or, sorry, devices that can run the game. Uh, naturally, you'd, I would just, um, they did mention a long time ago when the update said iOS 9 was having some issues. I don't know if they ever fixed that, so don't. If you have iOS 9 on that device, uh, don't upgrade it to iOS 10 because it there's just no, like, I mean, it's a, it's a higher version, might as well, and also because you don't want to have any issues happening when you're playing. But yeah, basically, um, the really old versions of iPad, iPhone, and even iPod Touch, I bet you haven't heard that in a while, can act are what you need to actually play this game. Uh, so it'd be like, I, like, so I think the lowest version of iPhone it was, is the I, iPhone 3GS, and then uh, up, it goes all the way up to iPhone 5, so, which is actually what my game is currently on. So, you know, like one of the last devices that can actually run it. <laughs> Uh, and so you will need one of these kinds of devices. Now the next step you need to do is you need to actually have an iOS that it can run on. Cause I, I, so I actually did transfer Symphonica to my latest iPhone, but the thing is, is that because, uh, like it's, it's not compatible with iOS 11 and up, it just can't, it just won't open. Another important thing to mention is that like, while this was an, from my iPhone, it should be compatible with iPads. As far as I'm aware, um, based on what I've been told, all iPhone app files are compatible with iPad, but anything that was made specifically for iPad will not work on iPhone. There is an iPad version of the game, but I obviously don't have that, so... But as far as I'm aware, this file should work on iPads too. I mean, to be, to be safe, I would probably just go ahead and get an iPhone or iPod Touch, I guess, just for safe safety reasons, but apparently it shouldn't matter. So now that you have the IPA file and a compatible device, you now need to have a compatible iOS. And I believe these device I think all of these devices can't actually run iOS 11 and up because it's a 64-bit, and they don't have 64-bit hardware in them, as far as I'm aware. So you might actually be defaulted to iOS 10. Um, I imagine, like, I don't, I don't think Apple actually sells these, like, in their store anymore. You actually have to buy these, like, secondhand now, which I mean, which is probably better because it'll be cheaper. But, like, basically, once you, so, but assuming that you, like, it, they can actually run higher iOSs and they default to that, you will need to go to a site kind of like this, which provide um, iOS files. Now, these green check marks, like, like the, I'll, all these links will be in the description, by the way. Now basically, what this green checkmark means is like this is a signed iOS, which means that like you can basically download it and put it on your iPhone without having to jailbreak it. Red ones with X's mean that you would actually have to jailbreak the device to actually install this iOS. 
But I mean, why would you even, I mean, there's no point in doing that when you can just get this one right here. It's, this is for the iPhone 5, but there are ones for basically every iOS device. Uh, this link here gives you a step-by-step -step process on how to do that if you need to. And yeah, I believe that is everything. Uh, I know it's a lot of hoops, and depending on what you devices you own, it could result in a lot of money, but there is literally no other way of doing this, honestly. Like, I, I tried. I really tried to find a way to get this to work, and as, this is the best solution I can come up with. I mean, it's better than nothing, certainly, but, like, it's... Yeah, it is what it is. We kind of got to roll with it. Hope maybe maybe someday Symphonica will get a re-release, like a revamp for on like the Switch or something. So incredibly unlikely, but hey, we can dream. Uh, now to get the the app on the phone, I what I had to do actually to get it off my old phone is it because I um iTunes doesn't sync apps to the computer anymore is I had to get a program called... Now, there, there are other ones that you can use, but I have a program called... Um, it's called Anytrans. Uh, all right, so yeah, basically, it would be a, kinda, a program like this one, where you can you'll just download it. It's a free one. There is, some, it is a, a free trial, though. Both It limits both like how much data... or how many times you can transfer something, and also it's a time-limited trial, so you know got to get on that... Uh, but like there are other programs that you can use as well. Uh, it does not require jailbreaking to transfer your files. And um, while I did have to log into my iOS to actually, I think, initiate the transfer, it should like it shouldn't like stop you from downloading my file. As far as I'm aware, please let me know if it does. Because if it does, uh, well, first of all, try finding a different program. I'll definitely like if if this one doesn't work, and you let me know about that. I'll definitely put a a different one in the description. But I mean, I can't test it because I only own my devices with my iOS, so I can't actually check if, like, the app, like, I mean, at the end of the day, if for whatever reason all, like, non-jailbreaking methods don't work, uh, you'll just have to jailbreak the device, which, I mean, you're probably buying this secondhand anyways, you probably don't actually have one of these lying around, in which case, it, I mean, it's already disposable to you, or at least, it's like, you're only using it for, like, this one thing, so it's not like it will bother you, I guess, or jailbreak it, I, uh, but, you know, uh, there are several methods I'm sure that I'm not even aware of that you can use to transfer files to an iOS device, and so, and there are plenty of guides to do it too, so, uh, if you get lost, uh, the internet is your friend there, and that's about it, uh, again, I understand that this can be a bit daunting with how many hoops you have to go through, and depending on what you own, this could cost a bit of money, but, this is the only option that we have uh, available to us, and you take what you got. Like, I'm just glad that, like, I mean, like, considering the fact that this, bef but before this, there was no way to play this game. Like, I had actually tried searching for IPA files, and all the links I could find were dead. So. As of right now, as far as I'm aware, this is the only way that anyone has been able to actually get this game and be able to play it since it got taken off the App Store in 2016. That is crazy. Like, I before, like I'm pretty sure like right now I'm currently like like point zero zero. I'm like one of the point zero 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 one percent of people who actually can play this game, and now that number will hopefully be able to grow. Uh, so yeah, if. I hope you enjoy Symphonica, and if you're not interested in downloading the game, or you, it's just, or it's just not viable for you, I hope you at least enjoy the uploads that I have on this channel. Uh, I don't know when I will upload to this channel again. I, again, this is mostly just for uh, preservation purposes. I think I'm gonna plan on like streaming the, like the additional song packs and difficulty levels just for you know getting a full preservation of everything the game has to offer. But I don't know when that'll happen because I am again I, I do have other things to do I have another channel I run so it, I'll be busy for a while but uh we'll see all right uh, that's everything I got and take care everybody.